Hello guys, this is Rich. In this video I'll show you how to make an old school hip hop tie beat in Nevlet Life. So let's get to it. Uh, let's put a BPN 100 and then go to scale, minor in a MIDI effect and put it on a D sharp. You can use any other uh, scale you like, but in this one Let's use a D-sharp. Then let's put some old school instrument. In this case, gonna be keys. I'll pick electronic keys. This preset will work. And put the metronome on. And let's try to record some progression. All right, now let's put a RC20 on it to make it sound old. Now let's work on add uh, It's going to be pretty easy. Just copy this media effect. Put here. And let's check out the keys. We can use the lower ones. B, A, G. Let's try. So I have this drum kit with add -aways. I'll leave a link uh, to it in the description. We'll also use it later for drum pattern. Let's try this one. But first of all, let's check out the key. Put a tuner. So it's not C. All right, now let's record it, starting from B. Quantize it and let's try to put it one octave up. Actually, let's try to use E, D, C. Maybe it'll sound better. So, one octave down. E, D, C. Okay. And now let's work on the second melody. So old school beats, they are pretty simple and it's 
pretty cool to make them and have some fun with them while recording melodies. So I'll use again this instrument with keys. Okay, we'll make one little accent with this instrument. Quantize it and make it not so bright and we'll try to even change the instrument I want something more ambient now this one was pretty weird this like is too much of a low end this one is really strange but somehow I want to leave it here. And now let's try to add also synth. For synth, I will use this plugin. Just hang on with it. Wait till it load up. Sound lead. Maybe a lead will work because I really want to make a lead for the hook part. Too loud. Let's try to switch it up here, so we'll make the melodies a bit more like talk between each other, like here's my idea. And let's try to record it. Just fix him, quantize it. Okay, and let's remove low frequencies here. It will make it sound even more old school. And here too. Okay, now let's work on drums. I have them here. Let's try this one. And snare. And let's try to record it.
Okay, let's try to change the kick. Maybe this one. Maybe change the snare. Now let's add some hi heads. Okay, let's record it. Let's not quantize it. It's actually what I want to do with those drums too. Just make them a bit off to make them alive, you know, because back then People used drum machines. I believe they didn't use to quantize. So it makes the sound more humanized. If you know what I mean. Just a bit off a grid. Here and there. Some crash. Yeah, maybe this one. Just transport it. And open head as well. This one, but not so loud and make it gate. So it, it's playing only when you push the button. This way. Duplicate this one. Press this button. Okay, and I want to work on this sound because it's like kind of too sounds too good for the old school if you know what i mean like the quality is too good okay and also let's put rc20 on our drums channel and let's pick some uh, drum preset, remove the noise. And let's put one more on the crash. Make it only reverb. Okay, I, I guess the beat is done. Now let's lay it out. Just select everything and drag it to this section. Copy that.
Maybe let's add one more layer of this. Maybe just this note. Yeah. So this will be intro and this is our first verse. So we'll put our simple drums here and bass. This will leave for the chorus part. I guess it will be here. Yeah, looks like that. Our hi-hats will be here. This bass will go all the way. Maybe not here. Maybe we'll have this touching here and then going here to our chorus. Part and also these drums should be going here and here. All the way here. We don't need those channels for now, so let's remove them to make it looking clear. All right, looks about right. Uh, let's check it out. Also, let's make compression here. Acting to our kick, side chaining. And for air weights too, why not? Just make it a bit easier on here. how it's going here let's try to add another base for this particular place insert midi put our midi effect and let's put this plugin hit up free I believe it has good acoustic bass. Let's try this one. So just copy that, put on here and actually let's try to remove these parts. If I'm getting it right. I hope I do. Okay, it's too loud, but we're still or on way. Yeah, no bad. Make it less loud. And let's try to put it here as well.
just copy our verse. Let's leave only snares here. Here's two. And I'll render till here. So it's pretty much done. We can just work a little bit on master and mixing, you know. Just work on penning. This weird one. Okay, and let's put a glue compressor with a soft clipper on the master channel. Also, remove low frequencies everywhere. We don't need them. We can actually have them here, but we didn't know about it. No, we don't. But let's remove it just in a case and copy it here to our drums a little bit more for the snare this interesting hi-hat let's leave some for this too Remove those effects. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. And now let's remove frequencies we don't need here on the master channel. About uh, 35 on here. And just a little bit on the high end. Just about that. crash less okay and i think it's good for now we got our old school hip-hop beat done we have intro verses courses and it's ready to play thank you a lot for the watching and just as i always do i'll show you my export settings that's the way i export you can use uh, the same settings if you want and i'll see you in the next video bye